around the turn of the century, the Minerals Council of Australia, uh, through the Minerals Tertiary uh, Education Council, got together three of the leading economic geology uh, research groups around Australia, that being uh, EGRU, the Economic Geology Research Unit at uh, James Cook University in Townsville, the Centre for uh, Ore Deposit Studies Codes at the University of Tasmania, and the then Centre for Global Metallogeny, now Centre for Exploration Targeting here at UWA, and wanted to provide a program that was specifically for industry people that could come back, upskill in geology applied to exploration, uh, and then take that knowledge back out into their companies. Well, um, I thought I was quite weak at structural geology, so when I saw this course I jumped at the chance because I really want to increase my knowledge in structural geology because I know that where I work um, most of the deposits are controlled by structure so I really needed to get more knowledge on that. Um, the highlight's definitely been the, the practical part of the course. It's uh, very applied um, as opposed to courses I've attended before which have been um, more, more based on theory. So it's, it's, it's very good to actually be able to, to uh, do the practical side of it and apply that theory. I think it's going to give me the confidence to go out and uh, you know, use this, this information in the field to, to interpret the structure of uh, various deposits and really help my company um, find new deposits in the future. With the master's program I chose it on it because I didn't have honours and I wanted to do some more study and uh, just get my qualifications up a little bit. The other th really good thing about this master's program was that was that it um, was in blocks so I could still work full time and, and take two weeks off and do the blocks and do the field trips and it was, I found it really good that way because you, to do one online or to do one by uh, distance uh, for me would have been too difficult to fit it into life and work so being able to take two weeks at a time I find really useful. It's something, structural geology is something that's really useful but it's something that often is a bit scary and you get a bit scared off by um, or you don't think you're going to apply it right. So going back to what I learned at, at university, but kind of having a refresher and how to apply it in a real sense now that I'm looking at rocks every day and applying it in a work sense, I think was why I chose the structural course here at UWA. Um, it's been really practical and really hands-on and um, they've taken the focus away from the physics and the maths and put it in real maps and doing real practical exercises. Um, so you're really learning how to apply what you know to any system you go to in the future. So it's been really good. Again, because it's adding to my qualifications and it's, it's filling that spot because I didn't do honours. So it's, it's adding that post, postgraduate um, letters after, after my degree, which is good. Um, it's also giving me confidence to, to say, yes, I know this stuff. I know how to apply it giving me confidence to take that back into the workplace. Um, that it's really hands-on, that you get to apply the knowledge in, real, in a real mapping sense and um, putting it all together. The other thing that's really good about it is um, that it's not all stereo nets, which is helpful <laughs> because, uh, again, that's something that scares you when, from the, your days doing structural as your undergrad. It's all um, sitting down doing stereo nets and not getting the big picture of how to apply it in, um, in a real field for exploration. Over the last decade what we've found is that this course has marked a step change in the careers of the participants. A very high percentage of the participants on these courses move on to senior decision-making positions within the industry and if you look around the industry and because this industry is global it's remarkable the impact this program has had. You see a number of our alumni uh, as leaders of the industry. So essentially what this course is doing is it's training the future leaders of industry and there really is no equivalent program uh, elsewhere to do that. I became a geologist because I've always been interested in earthquakes and volcanoes and as when I was growing up we went on family holidays and used to run around picking up rocks so I guess it was always in my blood. Um, my mum was actually a geography teacher, so I hold her wholly responsible. And we did a bit of family research a few years ago and found out that on my mum's side, her great-great-grandfather was actually a mining engineer, so. 
I decided to do this course as part of my master's degree and I chose to do my master's because it, after 14 years in the industry I realised it was time to go back and actually try and understand some more academic, uh, more applied things rather than just focus on what I see day to day and look at the big picture controls on mineralisation, different mineral systems, different commodities. Uh, really taking what we can see on the small scale and putting it right on sort of the regional tectonics, almost sort of lithospheric scale structural controls. Um, in the past you sort of focus on very much mine scale and actually being able to take something you can see in an outcrop and infer something that can control mineralisation on a very, very large scale. I guess when I go back to work I'm going to be doing quite a lot of structural mapping, um, trying to understand ore shoot controls within a deposit and then also hopefully being able to use that to step out into sort of the more regional targeting um, and identify new prospects as well as understanding the ones we have to date. I was attracted to this course because I work in a structurally complex pit and this course gave me the opportunity to uh, revisit and refresh some of the skills I had learned at university. The best part of this course has been able to spend two weeks with two intelligent, clever structural geologists and they can refresh my memory in the classroom and then actually coming out to see some of the rocks I actually work with and pick up some of these structures and going back to the back to the work um, hopefully I should be able to take some of these skills which I've revisited and relearned uh, over the last two weeks and can reapply them to my pit and uh, hopefully going forward it will build into a better understanding of ge geology and the geological model at work. What really attracted me to geology was in second year I undertook my first field course uh, which was a mapping, mapping course down in South East Victoria and spending time outside looking at different structures, different geolo geological uh, features and really just being on the ground and understanding the landforms and, and what's around us. And from that, from that field subject basically my my career was really taken care of. I knew from then that geology was a career path I wanted to follow and I went on to do uh, to major in geology and then did an honours course at Melbourne University uh, in sedimentology and really it's the field work and being out amongst the rocks that, that is what I really love. Dextral and a bit up and so if I'm going to get tensional veins the tensional veins should sit in that type of an attitude so the east west. Uh, so I started in industry 18 months ago and I'm an exploration geologist working out of Perth. Uh, most, a lot of the work is uh, on a drill rig, however we do do um, a lot of exploration mapping which is obviously part of looking at target generation and finding out where new iron ore and other targets are. And a course like this is a great way to really get back to fundamentals of structural mapping, something that we don't have the opportunity often to get to do in exploration, like we do a lot of mapping, but here I can be exposed to some great, some great outcrops and be really be be amongst like minded geologists and and structural geologists that I can really learn a lot from. The best part about this course has been the, having the opportunity to spend time in in a in a world class gold province that I previously hadn't had the opportunity to do so, and to be amongst professors who really know this terrain you know better than better than anyone and being able to see some of the best outcrops around the area and get a feel for the stratigraphy and really look through this work through the stratigraphy from the base to the to the top of the stratigraphy and un, and relate that back to where you're seeing mineralization and how that can relate back to the exploration exploration mapping and looking for new targets taking when I go back to to work as an exploration geologist I can use what I've learnt during this course to apply it to finding new exploration targets and understanding having a better understanding of how what the structural controls are on mineralization and using the tools that I've gained through the week to be able to look at an outcrop and understand what what the features are and take the information to then apply that to making models and understanding where exactly uh, with the implications that has for, for looking for new, for new ore deposits. The program is held in extremely high regard, not only by the participants, the alumni of the course, but by senior managers within industry. Uh, they like to see their people going back, uh, upskilling, putting their hand up for personal development, and at the same time, 
they see the benefits flow back into the company. So it's really a, a very good program all around. The program has been incredibly successful and uh, it's a tremendous opportunity for students to obtain skill sets that are directly relevant to the minerals industry. I wish they had the program when I was a student.